Hi, Mr. Wright here, and welcome to this film of vector IGCSE questions. These questions are generally about finding vectors and finding the magnitudes of vectors. If you find it useful, please hit like, give me some positive feedback. And if you'd like to have more films along these lines, please subscribe to my channel. Right, here we go, on with the questions. Okay, there's the question. Have a go. Hint, start by drawing a diagram. Pause the film, give it a go. Okay, I'm going to draw my diagram now. So I've got the point A here, and then I'm going to put the point B over here. And I know that A to B is 5, 3. Now, I don't know where the point C is, but I don't suppose it matters really. So I'll plonk the point C here. And I know that C to B is minus 2, 4. Let me draw that line first. Now, C to B. So beware, it's going that way, isn't it? C to B is minus 2, 4. OK, and I'm asked to find, as a column vector, the vector AC. So if I was going to go from A to C, I would have to go from A to B and then B to C. So from A to B, and then B to C. Well, A to B is 5, 3. And then I need to go from B to C. Well, that's going to be the opposite of CB. So it's going to be 2 minus 4. So my resulting vector is 7 minus 1. And that's my answer. Right. Here's the question. Why not pause the film and have a go? My suggestion would be that you start by drawing a diagram. OK, I'm going to draw a diagram. So I've got the point A. It doesn't really matter where I put that. And I've got the point B. I'll put that here. And I'm told the vector A, B. So that is this vector going from A to B is 6 minus 9. Now, I also know the vector CB, so there's obviously a point C somewhere. I'll put the point C here. OK, and let's draw that line there. Now, this is the vector CB, so be careful. It's the vector going from C to B, and that's 1, 3. And I'm asked to find the magnitude of AC. Well, I'm going to start off by finding the vector AC, and then I'll worry about its magnitude. So if I was going from A to C, I would go A, B, and then I'd add on B to C. Well, A, B is 6 minus 9, and B to C is the opposite of C, B. So it must be minus 1 and minus 3. OK, so that's going to give me a vector A, C of 5 minus 12. Now, of course, the question wasn't find the vector AC, but it was find its magnitude. So the magnitude of that is going to be the square root of 5 squared plus 12 squared. And if you recognize your Pythagorean triples, you'll already know the answer is 13. Or if you put it in your calculator, you'll work out that the magnitude of AC is 13. OK, question 23. Why not pause the film? And have a go at the question yourself. But start, if I were you, by drawing a diagram. OK, I'm going to draw the diagram now. I've got a trapezium, and I've got DC is 3 times AB. So AB can be the short length on the top, and DC is going to be the longer length opposite it. So that is ABC, and now I'm going to have C. D along here, and there's my line AD. OK, now I know that DC is 3 times AB, so I know that this one is 3 times that one. I'm just going to remember that. Now, DA, from D to A, this way, is minus 2, 3, and D to B, right, let's draw that line, D to B, and by the way, that's this way, is minus 1, 7. And I'm asked to find the magnitude of BC. So that's the diagram drawn, and that's the problem I need to solve. 
So let's have a look at solving that problem now. All right, I need to find the exact magnitude of BC. So to start with, I'm going to need to find B to C. Okay, now if I were going from B to C, I would probably go from B to D and then from D to C. All right, now B to D, I already know that's the opposite of minus 1, 7. So that's going to be 1 minus 7 plus DC. Well, DC is 3 times AB, isn't it? Okay, now that's going to be 1 minus 7 plus 3 times AB. Well, what's AB? Well, if I was going from A to B, I would go from A to D, which would be 2 minus 3. And then I would go from D to B, which would be minus 1, 7. So that's going to equal 1 minus 7 plus 3 times what? 1 and 4. Yep. Okay, so that's going to be 1 and minus 7 plus 3 and 12, which is 4 and 5. All right, so I would need to find the magnitude of BC. So the magnitude of BC would be the square root of 4 squared plus 5 squared, which is the square root of 41. And that is my answer for question 23. Mr. Wright here. I hope you found those questions and walkthroughs useful. You will find more films on vectors in the vectors playlist. If you've got any questions, please do leave them in the comments. And of course, I'll respond. Thank you for watching.